Welcome to Pamukkale, Turkey's white cotton castle. Here you'll find thermal pools surrounded by these huge towering white structures. In this video, we're taking you along and showing you everything that there is to do here, and more importantly, if this is even worth visiting. So Pamukkale translates to Cotton Castle in Turkish, and it dates back thousands of years and was even named the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. Now, hundreds of thousands of visitors like us visit it every single year. First, we drove two and a half hours from Kusadasi and finally made it in time for when it opened. And after two and a half hours of driving, we are now here in Pamukkale. So this is the entrance. We're one of the first people here and note for anyone who wants to come here, leave early in the morning because I believe all the tours to get here start at around like 9 to 11 a.m. So that it's gonna be the most crowded. It opens at 8 a.m. and let's see how much it is for entrance. All right, so we just made it in and we are basically the only people here. And it was 400 Turkish Lira and we're gonna see if it's worth it. Yeah, we are practically the only ones here. Yeah, so $16 per person is what you can expect to come in here and let's go. So when first arriving here, I really did think it was gonna be just the pools that you see all over like Instagram and the pictures and videos, but you, there's actually more than just that. There's a theater hall and there's also what we're walking through right now is the necropolis. So I think it's from like AD 60. Okay, I know this place was destroyed by an earthquake and rebuilt centuries later so it's amazing to just walk through all these ruins until you eventually get to the pools, which is about a 10 minute walk later. So there's also shadows that will take you straight to the pool, but we're walking because it's only a 10 minute walk. So. Yeah. So there's a lot of hotels nearby, but we decided to do this as a day trip because we're staying two and a half hours away in Gusha Desi. And yeah. I mean, the history surrounding this place is crazy. It's like a little city in here. We thought we were the only ones here because we came in through the wrong entrance and we were the only ones there at the time, but there's an entrance closer and other people beat us to it. So yeah, we definitely thought we were gonna be like the first one here, but maybe there's, not only there's another entrance, but there has to be like an earlier entry time if you come with a guide or something because for 9 a.m. this place is packed. So when we first came, I thought this was gonna be sand. Like, <clears throat> I thought everything here was Almost like a like sand structure. Cotton candy. It's literally like rock hard. Like. Yeah, Pamukkale is a translation for cotton castle. So we thought it was gonna be like very soft or or, or sandy because it's what it looks like. That are like a little mushy. Some parts look like a little clayish, but then this is like a super grippy texture. So thankfully it's not slippery. You're showing your toes for free. <laughs> if you look all the way down there, it almost looks like snow or ice the way it looks like it's frozen down off of those little pools. But this expands all the way down. You can see some more over there, and then a big lake pond over there. But it also goes all the way down there. And down there are where like the hotels were that we were probably gonna stay in. And I'm assuming from there, there's also a road that leads straight into here that maybe you can just come in whenever, to be honest, and not have to pay. But not entirely sure but yeah those are a lot of the hotels and the main city here so i haven't seen anyone with water shoes but i think that might be the move here just because it is a little hard and then you're like on the rocks and whatnot so and like the slippery sand yeah yeah if you have room pack them it looks like it got so much more busy look at all those people up there i don't know why none of them really like come down to these better ones all right marcus is going in am i I'm not even stopping the current. <laughs> I'm stopping all the water. <laughs> How does it feel? It's nice. It's not cold, not warm. It's just like room temp. Hot tub. <laughs> I'm blocking all the water. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that looks so wrong. <laughs> I know, it looks like a bathtub. We're in a bathtub. It's kind of nice, I like it. <laughs> Alright, it's now 10 o'clock and you can see how freaking busy it is behind me now. These are when all the tourists start to get here, the vans full of people, the buses. So 
So you don't want to come at this time because the line starts to queue also. So make sure you get here at opening, the, the latest. Filled with people. I feel like we're like in a wild park. <laughs> yeah, if you want clear, like good photos with no ripples of some of the pools here, definitely come early to try to avoid everyone because right now it is a free for all for photos. There are some cafes here also if you want to get a bite to eat. There's a museum here. Um, and there's more food over there. It's not a museum, it's like a photo service. Oh. I think there's also a museum here though. Okay, but that's a photo that, service. That is a photo service. <laughs> but right now we are finished walking back, maybe trying to take the shuttle back. Please, my feet are killing me. And then find some lunch because we are starving before we make our two hour drive to Maramaris. Before I get hangry. Yes, that's the worst. <laughs> so this is Hierapolis, this is the city that was here before the earthquakes completely tore down the city. You see this huge like center hall, the stadium or whatever they call it back then. A theater. Theater and the entire city. This is amazing, a gymnasium, a theater. There was the Temple of Apollo. This was the Fountainous Street, right here that goes all the way down, which is amazing. Kids, make sure you pack your sunscreen. Are you gonna get burnt like this, guys? I'm not too burnt, but I, don't, I just wanna limit the damage before because we still have four more days on the beach. It's so cool because here they have these like, uh, hang, I don't know what it's called, paragliding? Hang gliding? Paragliding. paragliding. Mm -hmm. But he lands right in this field. So is it worth visiting? Honestly, we don't feel like it was. To drive two and a half hours for this felt a bit underwhelming, mainly due to the large crowds that were there so early in the morning. So unless you happen to be passing by or have a lot of time on your hands, we would tell you to just save the day for somewhere else. <laughs>